You got to tune to the Midday Show here on 90.3 KEXP. My name's Evie, and I am so excited to be joined in our live room today with Crumb. Um, they're, they're known for their, for their super unique mix of uh, indie pop with jazz and psychedelia. And we're going to hear some tracks today from their latest record, Ice Melt, plus one song from their debut album, Jinx. So if you all are ready, feel free to take it away.
It's Crumb live here on KEXB, sounding incredible, you guys. That was awesome. Thank you so much. So I, you. I want you to know, first of all, that I am so grateful that I get to host this session, that I am a Crumb stan, and um, you sound great. So thanks for being here with us. Thanks. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. Yeah. And you guys came here specifically for this performance, correctly? Or cor correctly? Very That's correctly, correctly yep. right? That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> so just specifically for this performance, right? Yeah. You gonna for spend, you guys. Are you going to spend any time in Seattle? We have. We flew in, I guess, Tuesday. Yeah. And we've had like a nice, we had a nice day yeah. yesterday. Good. Got to see the city a little bit. Yeah. You got to see some rain. We got to see some no, good it was rain. actually a nice day yesterday. I yeah, surprised. It yeah. It's all relative. We got some New York weather we're used to. So. Oh, yeah, right, true. Right. We enjoy your food and your views. Yeah. Yeah. I've been hanging good. out here for a few weeks. It's been beautiful. Good. I'm yeah. glad. I'm glad. Well, um, I would love if you would introduce yourselves or yeah. however you'd like to do it. We have Bree on the keys. We got Jesse on the bass. And we got Jonathan on the drums. And Lilo over here. And I'm Lilo. <laughs> <laughs> On the rest. So um, I, I associate your band with a lot of different locations. Like you formed in Massachusetts, correct? And recorded your, um, your debut full length in Brooklyn. And then this most recent album that you put out um, was recorded in Los Angeles. So I just want to know, like, how did the, the West Coast, this new location, kind of seep into the inspiration for this record, if you think that it did? Well, we recorded it during the pandemic in LA, obviously. Had a lot of free time to to think about it. Yeah. <laughs> we actually stopped recording like midway through and um we're just kind of like in LA in our little our little zones. Mm -hmm. It was honestly very pleasant for the most part. Um but it allowed us to kind of reflect on what we had recorded and then go back into the studio and kind of finish the tracks mm. um but yeah a lot of the songs were recorded were written in LA as well yeah I don't know what specifically but definitely there's like an LA yeah feeling I hear it. I hear it. <laughs> what part of LA were you guys um staying and living in all around really yeah yeah, yeah we me like four different Airbnbs Lila was living in a house yeah. I feel like it's just like such a different pace than when we recorded the mm -hmm. New York one. We would, yeah. New York, we would walk out the studio and just be surrounded by a lot of noise and people. Right. And LA, we just empty parking lot and yeah. sunshine. So it was nice. Yeah. Some swaying palm trees. Exactly. Yeah. And it's, it's funny. I feel like LA has this, this vibe of like, it's so, it can feel so calm and serene, but also kind of crazy, like underneath. You know, yeah, so definitely. I lived there for a few years. It's it's a fun place. Yeah. So um, this the title of this record, Ice Melt, kind of makes me think of someplace cold, like somewhere you really need to salt your walkway, <laughs> which isn't LA. So what drew you to that title? Um, the title actually originated with the uh, yeah the substance ice melt, um, which I didn't know was called ice melt for the longest time, <laughs> <laughs> and um, then I found out and uh yeah i mean it speaks to the album i feel like in a couple ways of kind of like melting away your you know demons you could you could say yeah. um but i feel like it's really whatever you want it to mean those are the best kind of titles <laughs> i think yeah so it sounds like um, Electrovox and Sonora Studios were some of the biggest studios that you've had the chance to work in. Um, how did that environment and freedom sort of impact the sound of the record? If it did. I think we just had so much variety of, like each of us uh, had so much variety of instruments and sounds mm -hmm. that we could experiment with different recording techniques, different sounds. Yeah. Um, and we had the time for it too. So mm -hmm. I think it's just like a huge expansion, more space, more instruments, more time. Um, cool. Yeah. It felt like a big living room. Yeah. yeah. I like living rooms. <laughs> so um, I have to touch on this. It, it sounds like you experiment with some really unique techniques in the studio. And I read about you capturing <laughs> an underwater effect where you submerged a microphone that was wrapped in a condom, like in a bucket of water. So congrats on that. <laughs> Who comes up with 
the ideas for that? Like, who, whose idea was that one? Or? We can blame, um, we can definitely blame, <laughs> blame uh, Jonathan Rado and Michael Harris for, for those yeah. wonderful ideas. Um, <laughs> yeah, but our, it was it was really, it was fun. I feel like there was, like, one idea to chase like that maybe, like, once a day that kept us really, like, on our toes. Right. And <laughs> that studio, um, like, Sonora in particular, uh, is, like, our producer friend Rado's, like, home base. Mm -hmm. So everything is kind of like a toy that he's like very comfortable playing with yeah. um and yeah a lot of those like funny recording techniques were just like kid in a candy shop kind of vibe. cool and jonathan ha it works with foxygen right he's yeah. in foxygen he's former or yeah he's in the band foxygen yeah, yeah. cool yeah. i'm glad you guys got to work with them i love the sound that you created together yeah us yeah. too been been really inspired by his music for a long time so it was crazy to like walk into that world kind of yeah Love that. Okay, so um, you're all clearly very talented musicians, and um, I imagine that the writing process is fairly collaborative. Um, do you want to just walk me through like how you approach a song from beginning to end, like some cliff notes? <laughs> yeah, I feel like the process is always like different. We're always trying to change it up and keep it fresh, but um, for a lot of the songs on Ice Melt, um, I kind of made a a basic demo with like the chords, melody, basic song structure, mm -hmm. lyrics. And then we started playing it and it kind of came into being transformed. We wrote parts, the grooves and stuff. Um, and then other songs kind of come about in a more like jam kind of way. But yeah, we're always trying to do it in different ways. <laughs> so um, I, the last thing I want to ask you is, and we talked about this earlier, that you've self-released every, um, both of the full-length records and both EPs that you've put out. Um, why is staying independent important to you? If there's a specific reason, <laughs> other than yeah. Crumb Records. I mean, yeah, it was like definitely not our initial intentions to um, like, uh, yeah, Crumb Records, as you said, is, you know, definitely not the, first aspiration, but yeah. it was a really nice byproduct of just kind of like, I think we just get a lot of joy, like being in control of the like whole world we create, whether it's like the visual elements mm -hmm. or um, like, I feel like we just had a pretty strong sense of identity and like we have a lot of fun chasing that stuff. So um, a lot of the things that like a traditional like label situation would offer us, it was kind of like we enjoy, I think, doing a lot of those like creative elements um mm -hmm. and then yeah it's like incredible that we can just kind of like keep being supported and like self-funded by our listeners and the music kind of like keeps the whole thing going on its own so yeah. it, it feels like a really uh fortunate like situation and and also just it's always like teaching us a lot i think about how to right. do the whole thing i think we um as a station understand that sentiment very well like, Definitely, yeah, you know, being Definitely. on your own and getting to control what, I mean, what we play and that we're not, anyway, yeah, you know what I'm idea. saying. We're big fans of KXP. <laughs> oh, it's cool to be. Yeah, thank that's, you. That's why thank we're you. in this room. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I'm, again, so honored to have um, talked to you today and we were so glad to have you here in the studio. Hope you enjoy the rest of your time in Seattle. And um, if you, you know, if you're just tuning in, you can go back and listen to this on the streaming archive. You can also, um, it'll be up on our YouTube channel, KEXP's YouTube channel soon. And uh, you have been listening to a live in-studio performance from Crum. Thank you all so much for taking the time to visit us today. Um, that was wonderful. Seriously. Thanks so awesome. much for having yeah. us. Yeah. Really nice. So it's Crumb live on KEXP. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.